and he hit that with his right. Nice touch from Hale. Clipperville trying to start quickly. Rory Hale, good stuff from the goalkeeper, Glenn Denning, who saved with his feet. It was a really good opportunity for the visitors in the opening three minutes of this game. You know, Oh, that's a bit of a lax touch. We'll come back to that from left Casey, a little bit exposed. Here is Gibson, might have a pop from here. Gibson, good stop. Four or five players lined up, ready to attack the back post. One of them's Addis. Goal words, Turner, smothered on the line and away by Glenn Denning. Brilliant defending from him. Danger still not away, Addis again with an outstretched leg after Turner got his head to it. And it's held by Glenn Denning. This is a first chance. Addis nods it back in. Mitchell, it's a good ball in. Off the head of Stewart, still not dealt with. Goalkeeper misses it and Gordon can't quite get there. Who is going to get the next touch? Addis used his body well to outmaneuver the Carrick Rangers attacker. And well, if you talk about let-offs, that is a big, big one. Current. It's blocked. Heel. Big moment, big challenge, follow-up effort into the side netting. Well, we've spoken about Albert Watson countless times tonight. We spoke about him before the game. But that is another telling interception, right when Carrick Rangers needed him most. Gibson, still tussling with Casey. Gibson comes out on top, will he have a go himself? Yes, he will. Driven goalwards powerfully, it's spilled by the goalkeeper. It's very close for Heal to get it up and over the wall. And on target. Buddies, oh, he almost managed it. He said it took a touch. I thought the goalkeeper from our angle also got his fingertips to it. I thought that was a great save. Really was good for young, young Forsyth. Addis, he's continued his run into the middle. It's a handball being given perhaps over on the far side. Certainly a free kick to Cliftonville anyway. Well, Stuart King is not happy down below us. I think, yeah, it's certainly it's handball. It was the Carrick Rangers player who perhaps almost turned his back on it. And but Thomas, he didn't have his, his arm out flailing. It did. I thought it was as tight into him as it could possibly be. Well, it's provided Cliftonville with this opportunity. It would be contentious from Carrick Rangers' perspective if they were to score. And they have! A massive, massive goal for Cliftonville and Oren Casey. They left it late against Uri City. They've done the same at Carrick and they've snatched off.